Hey guys, it's Evan, and today I'm going to be showing you five ways you can get ready for... That's right, you guessed it. Halloween. I really like getting ready for Halloween, doing the costume, everything, trick-or-treating, getting your room ready for it, but I just like doing that. So I actually don't really like celebrate Halloween, I guess. Like I don't celebrate the holiday of Halloween, but I just like going trick-or-treating and going out and getting candy. So yeah, let's just hop right into this video. The first thing you can do to get in the Halloween spirit is decorate your room with really cute Halloween related decorations. I got this probably from like the dollar store, I don't know. There's like a little spider on it and it glows in the dark. And I think I just like hang this from my fan. And it's just like really pretty or you could hang it in a window and get the Halloween spirit. Or I also got this at the dollar store. There's a little like things that like that you put them in the sun and they do that. So yeah, this is a Frankenstein one. And I'm pretty sure this is from the dollar store too. You can get stuff really cheap and just to be all festive. The next thing that you can do to get into the Halloween spirit is paint your nails. You can paint your toes or fingers and you can do whatever colors you want. I just found two um, Halloween related colors in my whole collection of nail polish over there. Um, these are really good ones. This one is an LA Colors Black. It came in like a big set or something, and this is actually an orange nerds one. I don't know. I never thought they smelled like nerds, but let's see. It smells delicious. The oh, next yeah. thing that most girls, I know, this is like one of my favorite parts about Halloween. Oh, I just realized that I still have this like smiley face sticker on my hand. But, um... Yeah, this is probably one of my favorite parts of Halloween, and it is doing your makeup. It's really fun to overdo your makeup on Halloween because Halloween is where you can dress up and look all crazy, and really no one cares because it's Halloween and you're dressing up. So, I really love this part, but yeah, some things you can do to make your, like, make your, make your makeup look all fancy on Halloween is to, you can use some falsies. These are actually blue, and they're pretty long. They're about, like that long. I might use this this year. Um, this lip gloss, you can like build, you, this is a time that you can use a very colorful, exaggerated lip gloss and no one will really care. Also, um, some really pigmented blush. This is like one, you really can't see, but one and it looks like that. Um, the next thing, I actually found this in my makeup somewhere. You can like put it on your face and make designs with eyeshadow or something. Um, you can make your face look really white or really dark with some primer, foundation, and a beauty blender. Also, you can use an eyeliner pencil to make your liner go like way out to your nice world or something. And lastly, you're going to need a very colorful eyeshadow palette. It doesn't need to be all like um, an amazing... Um, brand like um la colors or um l'oreal or something like that um but yeah this is actually from claire's and it's so colorful and it's really fun to use when you're going to be all crazy because there's so many um colors here and it's just really fun you can use all these colors and i wouldn't really care i always want to just go like this and see what it would look like but so the next thing you can do to get in the Halloween spirit which will be number four is you're going to pick out your costume that you're going to wear for Halloween it's so fun. I love picking out costumes so much. We have so many in my basement, and I just love picking them out. Last year, me and my best friend, we were Thing 1 and Thing 2. And here's a little something from our costumes. We had these little hair things that we um, clipped in our hair to, um, for, like, the little blue things in our hair, you know. We also had these red and white socks that, um, you know, Thing 1 and Thing 2 wear. We also had, um, we each made a Thing 1 and Thing 2 shirt, and we, like, paste it on not like paste it on but like we i don't know what that's called i can't think of it right now but we took like paper and we put it on our shirt it's like ironed it on i can't think of what it's called but we did that and i was thinking one and i can't find my shirt right now and i want to show you guys but i can't find it but yeah we did that and then we also had these cute little blue skirts that we wore along with black leggings and boots so there's an idea if you want to do that um but there's so many ideas just look at like um party city five below my basement literally like there's so many costumes out there that you can do and there's so many creative things
The fifth and final thing that I have on my list is to watch a scary movie. Now, personally, I hate scary movies so much. One time, I was over at a friend, and they made me watch a scary movie, and it was called Insidious 3, and I always looked up the scary parts, and I still had nightmares, and I hated it. So, don't make me watch a scary movie, but whatever you want to do, just go watch a scary movie. It'll get you in the feeling of Halloween, and I hate them, because they're always like, <laughs> and I'm always like, <laughs> and then everyone's like, what, and I'm like, they do not see them, like, yeah, so you can do that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please hit that like button, subscribe down there. Also, turn on post notifications if you want to get alerted when I post a new video. Also, please feel free to comment your ideas down in those comments below. And I hope you have a good day. Bye! Comment. I just went like this and it dug into that. The fifth and final thing you can do to get in the Halloween spirit is to watch a scary movie. Personally, I hate scary movies so much. One time I was over at a friend's house and they made me watch a scary movie and I still have my nightmares to this day. It was called Insidious 3 and I remember like every single part of it and I tried not to watch any of it but I ended up looking up at the really bad parts and... <laughs> Thank you guys so some I see that. I just like put myself I was like thank you guys This is probably one of the best parts of Halloween. I really like it. And it's the third one. It's for doing your makeup and figuring out what you want your I just threw my beauty wonder across the room. Where'd it go? I don't even know anymore Hi guys, it's Evan and today I'm going to be showing you five ways you can get in the Halloween spirit and get your room and your windows and you basically you ready for the Halloween time. I know some people don't like celebrate Halloween. I guess I don't really celebrate it. Either. Oh my goodness. Go follow me now. <laughs> Well then, hey guys, Devin, and today I'm going to be showing you five ways that you can get in the Halloween spirit and get your... Oh, get in the Halloween spirit, boy! Oh, I have Addison. Get out. Get out. Why are you wearing my sneakers? Get out. Yeah, you left your out on the clock. Bro, bye.